Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I am Envision Revelations. Hey, yo, I'm Echo Hour. And welcome and to this Dual, is Architects. Dual Architects. Woohoo! And we have our first guest on yeah. the show. Please give a hearty welcome to Jack PS9. Yay! What's up, guys? How's it going, Jack? Good. Very well today, actually. So, uh... A little v tired, though. <laughs> V11 just got released. What do you think? Are we all? I'm... For the hour I played it, I've actually enjoyed it so far. A lot of new changes to it, that's for sure. Yeah, you, you said something about, you know, going back to towns. Uh, with it being uh, released and everything, do you think it's, you know, like a, a big jump ahead to, from what we've had with the job system and, and whatnot? Um, the job system definitely adds a lot more control to your townies, so, or citizens, whichever one you actually want to call it. So it can help the new players out quite a bit. So it should be entertaining to see how many people we actually get now. Uh, I find the job system going to be a little bit difficult. Me and Echo will probably spend most of our time trying trying to get the job system working because I forget who I want is who. <laughs> but um, it's I think it's it's pretty good. We have that. We have this lighting system. The uh, I put a fire here in my my completed inn, and I have this little like area for smoke to come out. And uh, the, when I first started up, you know, I got this little bit of extra lighting coming out of the out of it. And I see uh, the insides all lit up and everything cool and everything. Uh, one thing I'd like to see them add is like some torches and stuff, but uh, lamps, lamps will work pretty well too. How, how did you uh, divide up your, your citizens, or your, your townies into jobs? How did you do it, Jack? Uh, personally, it's, I've just learned how many townies that are actually required or what's required from like since I originally started, so I've just been putting next, like decent amounts on like food at the beginning, like, one or two on wood and about one on my wheat for just constant uh, food and gathering of wood and then maybe about one for just like building around. Yeah, I, I pretty it's a little weird how I have mine set up but it does get it done. Yeah, I pretty much did the, the same thing. I had like one miner, one woodcutter, the rest was hauling and stuff and had like two or three cooks and bakes. They had a little bit of trouble getting started off at, at the very beginning, but um, once they kind of you know got in the groove of things that they went on, they did pretty well. How are you setting up your, your townies there, Echo? Um, I'm, this, is got, this is my first experience with version 11, so I am just sort of, uh, sort of tinkering around with things, uh, seeing what works and what doesn't. Uh, I'm trying to like make it, it'll probably blow up in my face, but right now I'm trying to make it so that uh, people that like, whoever lives in my bakery is like only going to be doing bakery associated things and I'll see whether or not that works or not once I start seeing uh, a bunch of people starve. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm a virgin to the whole job system, so I'm trying it. This is this for this episode is literally my first run with the jobs. I didn't, I didn't tinker around with it beforehand. Um, I'm working on the build contest in my free time, and I didn't want to screw up my progress on the build. So, and I'm building like an idiot. I'm building with, uh, I'm doing the build contest without a creative mod. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it vanilla. So, um, doing it legit. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot more of a gratifying experience. But probably in the long run, people will look at it and be like, "What was that idiot thinking?" Oh, it's, it's, it's I'll, I'll give you points for doing it, you know, normal style. Well, the, I, I kind of feel your pain, <laughs> though, because I would do my, uh, the videos I did over the, both the V10 update and the V11 update, I did vanilla, just to set up the town, just, just to do it, so I'd spend more time building the town than I actually would, you know, working on the video, so <laughs> it's kind of a, I've kind of taken a masochist approach when, when I'm playing this game, but... It's, it's 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 still I get to play the whole time, well, so it's a lot of fun. So far, uh, four townies have been sacrificed in the construction of my of my build contest wonder. So, um, you know, it's. <laughs> but then again, uh, I, I like like I said in many of my episodes, you got to break, got to break a few eggs to make an omelet, and 
I am not above sacrificing my townies for the greater good. In this case, me winning a make sure contest. I say that in every single episode. <laughs> it's gonna be my new motto. <laughs> so yeah, I want some miners, and I'll, I'll figure out who is who. I can't, I can't concentrate on commentating and and working all at the same time. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of. Uh, it all at once. Cutters. I'm too busy watch. I'm busy watching my heroes <laughs> venture down into the dungeons. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I I have like, I guess I settled a pretty good location. In, oh, it's really dark down here. <laughs> the, all you can see is like the spider eats. Yeah, uh, the ice the ice produce light now apparently. So yeah, uh, I've got like coal right here. I've got some iron right here, though it's I have to go down the next level to get it, and even some some flint so I could get my fire started. You know, so I, I, I'm actually in a pretty good location here. I just uh, have to dig a little further down, and, and I got this building done. This one. Here. Poor Jack is listening to us talking about our episodes or about our towns here, and he's like, I have no idea what any of them are seeing right now. It's just who's staring yeah. at my computer screen? Well, yeah. Well, you're. Yeah, you're, I had. Are you playing right now, Jack? Uh, I'm on Towns. Doesn't mean I'm playing. It's paused right now. <laughs> oh, it's paused? Well, you, you, know, you can play. You, you can talk about what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, you're doing a, uh, yeah. a, a series right now, aren't you? Or are you, you going to be starting a, a V11 series? Actually, I did like 50 minutes of it this morning while I was live streaming, and I've just actually learned that Twitch is easier on my bandwidth than just uploading to YouTube, so I'm letting them deal with it <laughs> for the most part. Well, yeah, the uh, I think the last, the second episode I uploaded, it took me just under 12 hours. It was like 11 hours and 30 something minutes for it to for it to upload. So. Yeah, <laughs> you can kind of feel my my pain. Uh, oh yeah. To be... Well, you're also on Nowhere's Bill Internet. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a pain. It really is. But you know, I do it. I do it for you guys because because I love you. So there you go. Thanks, Rev. We all. He really you. does. <laughs> I don't love you guys though. Uh, I hate I hate each and every one of you. All of, all of... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I like you guys. <laughs> well, there goes the rest of our viewers, so, you know, I guess I don't have to do yeah, this very long. Very long. We've all the, we've already <laughs> ostracized heathens and Native Americans. Let's just get rid of everybody else. It's just just everyone else just, you know, we're done. <laughs> Here on Dual Architects, we don't actually build things, we just destroy relationships. Just yeah. insult people, and, and ramble on. Uh, uh, Jack, uh, how did how did you discover Towns? Who, who was it that got you into Towns? Uh, oddly enough, no matter how much I say I hate the Yogg's cast, it was Sips and Pulse Orcs Jr. Yeah, Sip, Sips is what got me. So the two people who actually... No, uh, so that you, Sips, <laughs> Sips is what got me, got me into playing too. He, uh, he did his little, uh, it was like episode two and I got, I got to watch him. But yeah, uh, carry on, carry on. I just wanted to throw now we're, in there too. Now we're ostracizing, now we're ostracizing the Yogg's cast. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, it was Pulse Horse Jr. who originally showed the first episode, went, tried the demo, liked it. Started looking up more videos. It was like a month later that I actually just chose to buy it. So it was fun just playing around with the demo on that until like I was actually able to buy it though. But the 20-day limit is a pain in the butt. It, yeah, it's 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 perfect in that it's just enough to get you like really into it, and then it cuts you off. It's it's like makes you slightly addicted, and then it takes away your source. So then you, you're just like. I want to play more. Then you have to buy it because because you, you, you know you gotta get fixed. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get your towns fixed. That's exactly right. Um, it 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 should be known though. Like like for me though, the amount of time I've spent playing towns is more than I've spent on any game, more than Minecraft, more than anything. Uh, I just feel like there's a lot of uh, 
capability here. Yeah, the only sad part is though, for the first while I was playing towns, most of it was just spent modding. Uh, are, are you, so. uh, are you, you, you do a lot of mods, like, uh, what, what is your, your mod kind of background and what, what gets you going and to, to mod and stuff like that? Okay, well, originally the mod that, the one I'm actually mainly known for is Flower Production Mod, which everyone loves, but sadly they added it to the game, so it sort of killed the mod. Yeah. But on the other hand, the reason why... <laughs> The reason why I ended up becoming known for that is because I got sick of having to install it. So, like, the, uh, use, like with the do-it-yourself. So I turned around and used the mod loader and just went from there. Yeah. It was annoying trying to get that mod loader to work though the first time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a modder, so I have no idea what all the mod loader stuff is and how you, everything gets on the same page. It's, modding is really over my head. It's actually, like, the actual modding of the game itself can be annoying, but just, like, adding the modifications to your game because of uh, people, I can't even remember who actually made the uh, mod loader that we actually have now, but he actually made it really, really simple to install mods, so. Okay. Uh, what is your, in your, in your entire experience with Towns, uh, what is your... Besides your own, what is your what is your favorite mod that people have, have put out that people that you would recommend people to, to try at least some sometime? Well, seeing how no matter I constantly keep seeing people complain about just stone lying around on the ground and everything, I would have to say it's York's tile mod. I can like I have the page open. It just I can't actually find the link or anything at the moment. <laughs> We'll, we'll link it. We'll link it in the video. Yeah. If I can find it, I'll post send it to you. It's gonna show up in the video right now. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tile through. It's tile. They're green tiles by York. What is it? What does it do? Yeah. It allows you to change basically stone or any type of uh, terrain tile into something such as grass, uh, jungle, dirt, almost like whatever the heck you want, really. Well, that sounds pretty good. That, that actually does Except for wool, stone. I might have to. Uh, so that instead myself. of having like a jungle, it makes the like growing of the jungle stuff rather simple. So. It also makes it that you can farm a lot easier too. Okay, yeah, I'm, I've got, I've got a. Oh, and you can also place snow. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I've got a big, I got a big farm coming on over here, so it might be good to. I've gotten rid of some of the stone that's kind of in my way, but um, you know, we we, we try to keep it vanilla <laughs> here on the show. As much as possible. Yeah. Most most we don't want our saves to break. You know, we'd get through all this episode and then. It, it all stop working at the end because, as far as I know, mods aren't like the most compatible things in the world. Like with the with the things with the, like the release of this update, you have to keep the same mods installed. You can't really change, or you lose all your your progress on that one town. Well, my worst nightmare is us starting up this game yep. or starting up an episode one day and I'm just like... seeing everything gone. It's one of those things. And my heroes are still fighting away. I just want these barbarians to die. That's all I want. I have four barbarians, yeah. and I just want no them to likes, die. No one likes barbarians. But all they do but is you keep... happen to like thieves, though, though don't I you? do like thieves. Uh, I like their little confusion ability. Like, they're the one hero that doesn't lead a bunch of baddies all the way back to my town. They actually do a little thing that makes them all rooted, and then they don't follow. Well, you must be the only one, because they always bring somebody back to they my can, town. They can... They can steal all the bread they want to from me, as long as they keep my villagers from dying, I don't mind. <laughs> what is your favorite hero, Jack? Honestly, I would definitely have to say the rogue, just for the fact of the confusion skill. Okay, well, it does make life so much easier. Their okay. survivability just makes it like really hard to kill. Well, I must be alone in the fact that I don't li I don't like them because I'd rather them just like kill the you know the the the, 
people to begin with and not just have to confuse them and run off and have to go back and kill them again later. Uh, I, I like people like, like the Knight and Sir Punchwood who just runs in and just murders everything. But I, they're awesome. You know, Paul all the way. <laughs> Honorable mention goes to the elf, though, for me. The elves kick a fair amount of butt, in my opinion. I said honorable mention goes to the elves. They kick a fair oh, yeah, amount of butt. Elves. Plus, who doesn't like do. elves? They, 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 aren't, they aren't a total loss. My, and my goal in this game is to get a dwarf mm -hmm. hero for the first time in my life. Be strong. I'll, I'll definitely give them that much for those dwarf heroes. Echo didn't even know about the dwarf heroes. I've never even seen while. one in action. <laughs> I didn't know we had them. I didn't until like a few days ago. Rev was like, "Yeah, there's a dwarf hero," and I had no clue. They're, they're, they were kind of hidden in their in their dungeons and their their mountains, so he just he didn't hear about them. Which is sad because dwarves are probably my most favorite race of anything. Like I would happily just have a nothing but dwarves. He loves dwarves so much he would marry Which one. Which I should probably get that. I would marry one. If she was attractive enough and didn't have facial hair, um, I would probably marry her. <laughs> well, it depends on the facial hair. I don't know. Maybe if she made it attractive enough, I could, I could, I could deal with the facial hair. You, you, you might look past past the whiskers. Wow. <laughs> um, like, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to bring up the Og cast again, but, you know, the, our theme song would be I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole, so... Yeah, that, that's that's right. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. There's a lot of speculation that the dwarf hero with the red beard was actually, you know, based on Simon, but it's just dwarves can have red beards too, so it's just a coincidence. All from now until the end of times, any dwarf with a red beard will be forever associated with Simon. And Miss Bacon. Yeah, Granny Bacon. I think, I, I think oh, he deserves yeah. it though. Like, oh, Granny Bacon. I remember Granny Bacon. It was so sad. She 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 got zombified. It, I was I was upset that episode. <laughs> when whenever whenever you can actually start naming your townies, whatever the baker lady of my town is going to be, I'll name her Granny Bacon in honor of our fallen everyone's fallen mistress. Yeah. Yeah, good. Wow. Good dogs cast. <laughs> reference there. <laughs> Here we are, a show talking about another show. <laughs> we've, we've, I know, we've, yep. we've derailed so far from, far from yep. towns and dual architects that we're just, you know, we're, we're talking about a completely different game and a completely different show. So, Yogg's cast. Well, you know, pay us back. Maybe we give someone, us a reference. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it. When, when Towns gets, you know, the mod quality where you can you know, you modded enough, you know, Jack, this would be your, your task here, is you mod enough so that you can control townies to an extent, you can actually make a new show, like Yogg's Cast did with the Shadow of Israfel, you can do a whole, a whole thing in towns for it, but you can do it on a grander scale. Yeah, especially when I get back to working on Towns Overhold again, it's definitely gonna make one hell of a good series. <laughs> Okay, so what is what is your overhaul uh, mod do, or what will it do? Um. <laughs> okay, for those of you that play Minecraft, think Industrial Craft Two. Again, talk about another game. Just to say, um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, another mod. A mod for another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, what it's actually gonna do is instead of getting like ingots and bars for. <laughs> Uh, ingots and bars, or however you want to put it, for like iron, gold, and that, you'll get like ore, which you end up having to smelt. So there's going to be slight metal OG to it, and hopefully I'm going to be adding some more weapons, and yeah. It should be quite entertaining to see like what all I pull off with it. Will the gold like ingots still look like weapons butter? Armor now have... <laughs> yeah, the gold ingots look like butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, uh, a nice little trivia. Like a nice little trivia is the old iron, uh, not not iron, uh, silver. Silver used to be the silver boots graphic. Hey, look, Burning Pet is playing towns. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. 
So what were you saying he's about? Probably, he's probably like silver. up there. <laughs> there. What were you saying? Yeah, man, he's trying to do you in his own game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, all, that's what I told him that after after they they released V11, you know, I told him you know go take a break, you know, enjoy enjoy a couple of days off because you all done a really good job getting all these updates out, and they they really have worked hard to to produce this stuff. I mean, they've worked tirelessly. You know, I, I've even put in put in a couple. Blood, sweat, and tears. Myself trying to trying to get some of this stuff out. So you know, I I, I really hope you know that they continue to be successful and uh, keep making this great game. And ho hopefully soon they'll have uh, shops so we can sell our stuff to people because that's what I'm looking forward to. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed by them. I'm impressed by them because most uh, indie developers that I've seen when they go on a hiatus. Uh, whenever they say, "Hey, we're you know we're taking a quick break, guys," uh, a lot of indie developers I see when they say they're taking a quick break, it becomes a very very long break and sometimes an indefinite break. But these guys, uh, they came back not then they didn't just come back; they came back with uh, both both barrels uh, going. So my, I tip my hat to them. They are bringing they are bringing the updates faster than most indie games I've seen in a long time. Uh, the, the the Steam launch was was really kind of rough on the, on the game. A lot of people weren't used to these kind of games being being out with the green light and everything. So it, it actually got a fair amount of beating uh, when it when it when it came out. Um, it really did. <laughs> it, it was it was sad and uh, you know, Burning Pad said he was he was you know he, he was glad he was on vacation because if he was here seeing all that it would made him very sad. And very, it was to see the, those those kinds of reactions. But you know, I, th I think it's it was a fortunate to see it associated with a game like The War Z, which has just been notorious for just like swindling and all that kind of stuff. And that that's not yeah, we, we did get put in the same. Yeah, because there was like people like Total Biscuit that was while playing War Z was bashing towns. So yeah, I saw that video. It was, yeah, you know, it's not something I don't think we should have been grouped in, but you know, it was, it happened. We all survived. We're all fine. Um, and we're just sitting here playing some more towns. Yep, playing a great game. Happy as, happy as can be. It, it, well, and granted, you know, I, the development was a little bit slow then. Uh, it was, it was a rough time for Zombie though. It, it, that, that was, that was a big hindrance. Is one, one dev was out and one dev was having troubles. Uh, so, but it all got fixed now. Uh, yeah, V11 is a freaking huge here. update, so it's everything's back to the way it is, and was, and should be. And the world keeps spinning. And V11A is already being worked on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, V11A has already been been worked on. Uh, there was a bit of graphic issues. Some of you. I don't know when V11A is going to be released, but uh, there was an issue with snowbirds being re being removed, and now they're these bright white yeah. squares. Um, that that's being fixed. We 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 we, we got ours fixed. Uh, we, did, we did some workarounds, and um, so that that's that's good. But that that's it's only for snowbirds, only on snow maps. So if you play on a normal map, you won't you won't have that won't have that problem. There's always a couple. If you do have it, just. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What's this? Splash damage. Apparently, thieves do splash damage. Actually, a little. Really? Or slash. I'm sorry. Slash, not splash. Oh, okay. I was. I was thinking. Splash, like, splash. Cause I was about to say that would have been what changed. <laughs> well, I splash you, ha! <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of funny. We have, we'll have a, I'll have a water hero that does splash damage now. <laughs> no. That's what. Whenever the herbalist, whenever the herbalist hero comes out, he can walk around with a water can and just you know like throw wa water at people. Uh, I have this pig on my roof. He's just kind of chilling. He's like, when all the all the town all the pigs have been eaten, when I start my my 
uh, fruit, uh, meat production. It'll just be him, just a left alive, and he'll be like, they won't find me up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about animals that it's, make it's, them it's gravitate just... to... So, something tells me at some point Zavi thought he was going to play a really good funny trick on people and just coded all the animals to just gravitate towards higher elevations. So anytime people are building stuff, animals just end up on all the walls. And that is probably got a lot of truth to it. Because <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they tend to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, birds, mostly birds, but, you know, you got cows... Uh, I don't know if Fred's still around. Where, where are you at, Fred? Oh, Fred's gone. I, I had a scoot beaten in my tower up here when I built it, but he, he's done. He's done run away now. I don't. I don't see. Him. I don't see him anymore. Yeah, I, I named him Fred. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. Fred's gone. Nice. Fred the scoot beaten. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they added a new... Oh, poor Fred. They added a grass terrace. Okay, now I'm excited. Back for... I'm talking about a completely different thing I'm working on. For, for viewers who don't know or haven't picked up on it yet, I'm participating in the build contest uh, that they announced on the forums, and I'm building the hanging gardens. Uh, so anything that is decorative and looks pretty and grassy and planty is good for me. So one of the new blocks on version 11 is a grass terrace, which is going to be perfect for me. That is perfect hanging gardens material. So, all right, I'm done. I'm done shamelessly. Grass Terrace. Yeah, it's under the uh, under the. Oh yeah! Look at, that, that. look at that. Doesn't it look awesome? So I'm all I'm all excited for yeah, it. I didn't, I didn't know that was there. You know what? I know exactly what I'm going to so. use that for too. I'll have to, I'll have to jump on that sometime. Uh -huh. I know. I know just what to do. But yeah, so any 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 judges for the build contest that's uh, coming up. Um, uh, I... Which is everybody. Which is everybody. So all of you, um, I give out free money, uh, for people that vote for me. Um, <laughs> I can give you a shout out on the, I can give you a shout out on the show. Uh, I can, I can do, I, I can be anything the you want me to be. The words of not, uh, solely express the viewpoints <laughs> of the water text, so you're not responsible for <laughs> Uh, but just just for disclaimer's sake, I will not literally give you money. Uh, I'm just trying to be funny and doing a bad job at it. Um, I don't want someone to be. I no. I've seen some form goers, and someone's probably going to be all up there, like already in a huff, just being like, "Oh man, this second hour guy on Dual Architects video, he thinks he can bribe us. And, uh, why is it this game free?" <laughs> uh, I haven't even been using the 3D mouse. I keep I was forgetting we had it. It's, a, it's so useful. I just space and forget about it. How do you it. use it? Uh, you use the mouse. Oh, you hold in space. And you just like press M and you see it, and then it builds anything on the bottom bottom floor or whatever's the the, la the last un uninterrupted Look at that. level. Yes, yeah, so this whole whole time we're like talking, we're not even showing off all the cool cool stuff. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the episode. <laughs> well, fortunately, you did a you did. A the 11 preview that people can go and see. So. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I worked, I worked tirelessly to get that one out too. And then I, then I even forgot, you know, completely about the uh, the, the the floor tiles. Uh, someone on the on the forums, on the official forums, were like, "He totally forgot to mention this." And I'm like, "Yeah, I did." And these glass walls. Uh, what did? What do the floor tiles even do, anyways? It's it's just a new decorative like flooring you can use. Um, it, it it counts as a block. It's it's a block size and has these little pegs that come up from the bottom of it. Uh, but you, when you chain it all together and stuff, you won't, like you won't see them. But it's just basically just to make a thin floor instead of using like you build up to your second floor and using just a full size block for your floor. You can use these instead, and you won't see those little pegs or maybe they go away. And uh, so it looks like I'd be able to make like a, a cool deck with it or something. Like that. Yeah, a deck. Uh, there's a, there's a glass. Uh, Caprontos posted on the forum uh, using these glass floor floor walls for skylights in your in your buildings, which looked really cool. Uh, we'll have to uh, to get you a link to that too. We'll check on the forums for that. Uh, but that's that's a really cool that's a really cool thing too. 
on skylights. I, I might have to include some skylights in my my old old school of Rohan town. I'll have some skylights. I still haven't decided what my town. I haven't really gotten much done. I don't think. Um, I've kind of gotten the second floor of or second level of walls started on on my thing, and I've gotten some chimneys. I built some chimneys, man. Uh, you know, so everybody can be excited <laughs> now. You're all those. I yeah, I've got two. I'll probably build another one here. I'm just gonna get some more more coal. Uh, I just don't seem to get a lot done during the episode. I'm like too much concentrating on the thing. I, I really have to learn to multitask. Well, you're gonna have really to. Do. You're gonna have to replace uh, that. You're gonna have to replace that thatched roof on your uh, bakery. Uh, that one guy commented about how you were like, yeah, I don't want my bakery to burn down, and then you know you've got <laughs> you've got wheat. You got a you got a roof made of wheat. Well. Well, no, it, it, it's, it's fine because all the fire and stuff is, is down low and, you know, it's so when you're baking the bread, it's only like, you know, the roof just comes in contact with the chimney unless the chimney explodes and, yeah, it should be fine. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to burn down. Maybe we'll just have some, some fire safety and some fire drills going on. It'll be, it'll be fine. Um, but this, yeah, it's that's... Like a couple of sparks fly up to his roof and burn the building down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, that's, that's, that is going to do it for this episode. We are out of time today. Uh, thank you all for watching. You know, give, a, give a good round of hand for Jack PS9 for coming on the show, being brave. You know, coming on first. Hopefully we get another one to come on soon after seeing this disaster. Maybe they won't, but <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the, uh, the, the discussion back and forth and the, the Skype delay. It's, it's, it's the Skype delays, the real killer. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll use another surface. If there's another surface that doesn't delay as much, Hey, let us know. Um, um actually, <laughs> I was gonna offer you guys to use the team speak. Okay, we, we, we might. If you truly want. Yeah, I was gonna say team speak's great. Okay, we, then we might switch over that. We might even be better quality, and, and so we'll, we'll we'll see about that. So, uh, uh, tell there us go, how folks. we're tell us how we're doing. Um, I know we're I know we're doing just just amazing, but um, you know, let us know what you think, <laughs> and. Um, you will give us suggestions on what we should do, what we should, what we should build. Um, anything else, Echo Hour? Echo Hour? Um, when do we get paid? <laughs> um, okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>